proud to be a hero. Now I know you're thinking, hey Vic, is this the 56th episode? I'll answer that question by saying, yeah buddy! Welcome to this week's edition of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host Victor Nunley and I am the Comic Hero. Alright folks, I don't have really have a lot of time because I gotta hurry up and get to work, so I gotta ask. Any questions? All right, I only have one question for this week's episode. It's from Brian Ferguson from Wake Forest, North Carolina. He asked, how in the world did they write a book where Superman would get beat by Batman? I guess you could probably do a whole show on that one. Well, Brian, it, the, the answer to that is simple. In almost every DC universe that has ever existed, with, uh, with, the, with the exception of, a, of one, and that's the Flashpoint universe because Bruce Wayne doesn't come, become Batman. His father, Thomas Wayne, does. The Superman is end up in an underground lab uh, with no and held an incubator. In every other DC universe, Superman has given Bruce Wayne or Batman a shard of kryptonite in the event that he would get out of control. And so, uh, so there you have it. Because there have been times where Superman has gotten out of control, and Batman has had to use that shard of kryptonite, but very, very rarely in any DC universe, whether it be this New 52 universe, or the, um, or as I like to call it, the original DC universe. Alright, that's, alright, by the way, if you have any questions that you want to submit, any, any question segment, there's the information down there. Please, and please do it. Alright, that's it for any questions. It is now, now time for Comically Speaking, so without further ado, let's talk comics! Okay, now I just got, um, I just got caught up with Green Lantern, and I just last read the, la the last two issues of it before Convergence starts. Now Green Lantern, by the way, is going to be one of the books that's going to be continuing for DC, after Convergence ends in May. Um, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan decides to betray the entire Green Lantern Corps by uh, giving up his ring and then breaking into um, breaking into the storage room on, on the planet Mogo and um, stealing Cron uh, Crona's gauntlet that he, that he used during um, one of the... I mean, that he used back in 2011. And he um, he beat up Kilowog and dang near killed him, and then and then left and left Mogo. 
Guardians were trying to retrieve him, but then they found out that he left his ring back on Mongo. So Hal Jordan is now on his own, and he's also been, uh, he's also a, he's also a renegade, and he's also wanted by the entire universe. And I just got caught up with Uncanny X-Men. Um, the mutant that I told you about from Newberry, South Carolina, who, who, whose um, powers were almost as dangerous as the, as the Phoenix, um, Matthew Malloy. Well, Cyclops tries to get him to, to join his, his team of X-Men. And then all of a sudden Magneto shows up and, and tells him, you see, ever since, ever since Cyclops started being, it, it's funny, Cyclops has, has been acting kind of Magneto-ish, and Magneto's been acting kind of like Professor X. Well, um, Matthew Malloy finds um, uh, Magneto to be a little, um, little intimidating, so he sends him back, back to the new Xavier School, telekinetically that is, and then. Magic shows up, and it's about to uh, teleport herself, Cyclops and Malloy, back to the Xavier School, but then S.H.I.E.L.D. shows up and destroy and and, and, and and blows them the kingdom come. Now you're probably thinking that Cyclops is dead. Well, I don't think he is, although I the last issue I read was number 30. And get this, one of the one of the new uh, recruits for for the X-Men, Eva Bell. She ends up going to the, um, going back in time and letting Professor X know, and Professor X at first does, wants no part of it. And this doesn't really uh, sit well for the, um, for the Stepford, for the Stepford Cuckoos, especially uh, Celeste. And she ends up, and, and she ends up wanting to beat up Eva for, for doing that. But the last issue of, um, of, I mean, the last page of Kane X-Men number 30, Professor X comes back with Eva, and he says the, and he says his fa famous four words to me, my X-Men. All right, that's it for comically speaking. Oh, by the way, I did say that I was going to talk more about about uh, Secret Wars, but I'm in a little bit of a hurry, so I'll, I'll talk. Uh, I promise I'll talk about that in next week's episode. All right. That's it for comically speaking. So then, let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. <laughs> Alright, I don't have a lot of time to, to um, describe all the comics and tell you what's been going on in them, so I'm just going to reveal what they are. Alright, uh, first up is Cyclops number 12. This is chapter 10 of the Black Vortex uh event that's happening in all the X-Men and Guardians of the Galaxy related books. This is, up next is Convergence number zero. And then Superman Wonder Woman number 17. Teen Titans Annual number one. Amazing Spider-Man number 17. Batman and Robin Annual Number One. Well, Number Three, rather. I'm sorry. Number Three. And finally, Teen Titans Number Eight. All right, at seven I bought, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 6,726. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I'm sorry that it was a that it wasn't as long as most episodes that I've done. Um, I got called in to go to work as soon as I was doing the first scene. So, um, but like I said, if you want, if, if you have any suggestions for the show, anything that you think is going to make it better, there's the contact uh, information down below. And um, if you want me to uh, make you a Comic Hero tea, for adults they are $10 in a blank tea or $12 if you want me to buy the tea. And for children, they're five dollars in a blank tee, or seven dollars if you want me to buy their tee. All right, I'm Victor Nunley. I'm the Comic Hero. See you next time. Till then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero.
Now I know you're thinking, hey Vic, are you at Cliff Comics? Is this the 56th episode? Well, I'll answer those questions by saying, yeah.